Zamboanga police on their way to Sakol Island, 15 miles away. They go almost daily now since three teachers were kidnapped two weeks ago in these waters on their way back to the Christian mainland. That's a quarter of the staff of 12. Those left no longer want to make the trip across unescorted. At the school itself, the pupils try to carry on as normal, despite the heavy armed presence. This campus has the only high school on the island. All the students here are children of fishermen and farmers. Some of them have to walk for over an hour across rivers and around a mountain just to get an education here. All of them are Muslim. The empty classrooms, a reminder of the teachers that are missing. Those that remain are working double shifts in suddenly cramped rooms just so the pupils can carry on with their lessons. An astronomer. He was an astronomer. Abdul Aziz was on the boat with his Christian colleagues when they were kidnapped. He was lucky and released. He believes the kidnappers, who are asking for over 100,000 U.S. dollars in ransom, are Muslims from a neighboring island. How can those bandits do this? We all just started working here, bring education where it is most needed. Those teachers are the breadwinners of their families too. Have they no hearts? No God. Just across these waters are the troubled islands of Basilan and Holo, where a Muslim separatist war is being waged. Home to armed groups believed terrorists by the government, where kidnapping has become a way of life. True or not, it is believed around here that several high-profile victims were released after ransom was paid. This is more a... Uh, a, a livelihood or a, a, a pecuniary uh, activity that uh, certain uh, individuals are, are doing. So there is no political statement that, that, that is to be made by these kidnappings. Because these are the points where... Despite the government's no ransom policy, local officials try to assure a concerned public that they're doing all they can and that working together they can put an end to this growing industry. But no words can erase the shock for the villagers on Sakul. They thought they were safe from their neighbors' troubles. We struggle to survive as it is. I wanted my daughter to have a better chance at life, and for that she needs an education. How do we deal with this now? As night falls, security tightens around Sakul and on the mainland. The uncertainty and fear that reign over their troubled neighbors has crossed over. An unsettling new reality that will be here when morning returns. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Zamboanga, Southern Philippines.